Hey everyone, today I thought I would just go over PDG, kind of what my approaches to it have been. I had to look through quite a few tutorials just to get a basic understanding of it, so I thought I'd kind of condense that knowledge down into a quick little insightful run through on it. Okay, that camera replacement is okay with me. Just going to choose. So basically, what I'm going to end up PDGing is this offset value, and that'll just switch the initial noise on the uh, fuel volume. Going to go on the top network. Create a wedge. I'm going to call it the offset. Um, sometimes these don't instantly work, so I've been largely just finding them. That's what's nice about this, though, is that I can literally just go in here, find the thing I want. And there it is. So I'll set up twenty three. So the first interesting thing about how PDG works is that it's a multiplicative factor. So if I set another wedge down here, this wedge, I'm gonna get nine, right? Because three times three. So for each one of these events, if you have a multi-event event chain below it, it's going to create, you know, it's a multiplying factor in that way. So here we're creating three more events, and up top we have three events. So for each one, one of the top events, we're going to have three new events. Just something to keep in mind. So for what I do, basically I'm just going to be in it creating a ROP node after my wedge. And that's why you usually want to just do all of your values in the first wedge. If you do all of your values in the first wedge and then you want to do more like look dev type stuff in the second wedge, um, that's definitely a possibility, but you're going to be creating a lot of sims that way. Just keep, keep that in mind, I guess. Um, so for our slot path, I'm just gonna choose the fire preset because that's it. I kind of need to go in here and get the right one. Because this is actually what is going to be needed to, it's like our actual volume that we're going to be rendering. And then I'll create a monitor node. And the monitor node now, let's go back to the other one, guys. So for the ROP geometry, um, we're going to want to set that to a frame range. So for each one of the offsets, we are now going to save 100 frames of that offset. So we're going to end up with 300 total um, things, basically. And then if we go into raw mantra, this is where it kind of gets important with the frames. Um, we'll want to do single frame here because for each one of those 300, we only want one render. And if we were to go into doing frame range here, then for each one of those um, earlier values, you know, each set, each geo set, we would be rendering 100 um, images for each one, which is not very sensical because that's 100 renders for something that only needs to render once. So here's where, you know, mantra gets a little different. I'll just do single frame. Um, and one thing to keep in mind here too, if you're using wedges, is you want to add backtick at wedge 
from Dex. Back to stop. And you can take this. And place it down here. And what that does is now for each frame being rendered, it pick your frames are gonna overwrite themselves, which they would still do if you didn't do this. Now you're just going to get the wedge the wedge index up front. So if I generate our static work items, now you'll see a decent number of things being made. If I were to start actually cooking, which I shouldn't say, just to talk about one more thing. So when we're doing a simulation like this, if you're doing a simulation, you should check all frames in one batch. And what that just means is it'll it'll try to like fill each value one at a time. So it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, instead of what it normally does through PDG is it'll just randomly choose one of the things that needs filled up on the list which is not great for sims obviously because it might go like eight for one and then go 20 for the next and you know if you're running a high resolution sim that might mean that it's just going to be resimming constantly um and that's why you'll just want to click all frames one batch here for simulation type scenarios on your mantra now there is also an all frames in one batch but it's not as important here because at this point, Rob, your mantra node is just going to be rendering whatever it's going to render. And it doesn't necessarily have to be one at a, one at a time based on the one, two, three, four principles. So, yeah. Click, click output node. It's going to ask us to say the NSW project once. Okay. Now save. Drop fetch sale. Oh, just. I did an open it. Interesting. First time I've had that bug. Hmm. Weird. That was weird. I'm not entirely positive why that happened. But 
Tops are a little buggy right now, just so you are aware. So as you can see here, they're rendering away. And actually, we should have some done. However, that folder is full of it. Apparently, from other renders, so can't show you. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks.